What's going on guys, Matt Everett here with Lethal Camaro, but today I have a special review and it is for the Lethal Suburban. Uh, I am reviewing the Graco 3-in-1 uh, car seat, rear and, what is it, rear and front facing, I believe the proper term is convertible seat. And uh, this is one of those seats that will grow with your child um, once they are out of an infant carrier. So this was our old infant carrier strap in buckle in you know you have the harness so you can pull it in and out of the baby seat all that grayness so this one is the slim fit three in one car seat space saving design um and the nice thing is is it's slim in regards to width and then also it will grow with the child from 5 to 40 from 22 to 65 and 30 to 100 pounds so not only does the seat work for your infant when you first, well, not when they're first born, but you know, from five pounds to the 30 pound range on up until they're out of a booster seat. Um, it's just one of those all in one designs that will be nice. And we have boys, so we went with, they have two different colors. Uh, this is obviously the gray and black design. It also is easier to help stay clean. It's really cushy, like it is super padded. So for those of you wondering if your baby is gonna be comfortable in this bed thing, yeah, they will be. And uh, as you can see, they, they make this completely dummy proof. Now, when I installed this bad boy, I was the dummy and didn't realize that there's a latch right down in here and that's what allows the seat to position. So this is bo booster seat position. You have your forward facing position and then rear seat position. You have one and two settings and it quickly snaps in, really easy to do. Um, and what you want to do is you always want to make sure in the rear facing orientation that the ball is lined up. Now this is built right into the car seat, makes it really easy for you guys to know if you have it installed right. I know in this Suburban, when I had it in the one position, it could be because I'm sitting in a downhill slope of my driveway, but it, when it was in the one position, it was in the red zone. So. I think one thing you'll probably wanna do is make sure that when you install this, you're in a flat position. So it probably would be better if I pulled off onto the street. Um, but I just noticed sitting in the driveway and I just realized it, um, that it's there. So one of the other things is, is it does have the easy latch. So some, some of you guys may be aware some of the systems out here, they have like those convoluted crazy latches. So there's two metal latches that plug into the seat, really easy to do, one-handed even. So when you're uh, holding that baby bottle, you can put that in. You don't have to interlock them. They're not all crazy. Again, it does have a secondary strap that goes across the baby's chest. Um, always great to have. And it comes with built-in padding for the shoulders, so you don't have to worry about the strap rumming up against their neck. Now, again, there's nice padding here for the head. And depending on how big your baby is, you know, you can easily adjust this. And the nice thing is, is not only is it easily adjustable by just pushing in this strap, the straps adjust freely so you don't have to move around and adjust them in different positions so it goes all the way up which is pretty tall and more this is more of your booster seat position height but for babies it goes all the way down pretty low and up high so if you have a big baby like i do we got a 10 month old or i guess he's 11 month old sorry uh at 20 almost 24 pounds he's he's a big guy to show you guys just how comfortably this fits a big child, <laughs> at least I like to think he's a big child because that's what our pediatrician tells us. But this is Ryan, my son, with my beautiful bride, yeah. Carrie. Hi. And he's 23 pounds, and this is at the lowest setting. He fits in there pretty good. Hey, bud, you say, can you say hi to everybody? He's 11 months old. His feet fit nicely. He's nice and comfy. We have it all, like, it's what position number two out of the ten but he fits in there pretty nicely and he's been in a car seat all day so apologies but uh he fits yay what do you think bud is that nice and cozy and if the padding's too much for him or you're seeing him fuss or not like it it can be removed luckily so a lot of that padding is optional you can move it around if you feel your child has maybe too big of a head i don't know this time the type of things you run into with different children um, there's lots of options and things you can change with, but. But it's always better with a baby in it, huh? Yes. Yeah. Ryan. I'll get you out now. You've been in the car a lot today. Say <gasps> bye. 
he's ready to crawl around and play. Um, one of the other things is, is as I do get older and into the toddler form, obviously the rear facing becomes forward facing. Um, again, super easy to install. You do have the seat belt um, for the rear side that you'll pass your seat belt through. And it does have, um, you know, the, the clip so you can double clip it in. But <clears throat> for the booster seat, the belt goes right through here. Pretty simple, so the child can buckle themselves or you can still help them. Um, but they do have it clearly marked in all three positions on how it should be belted in. And, um, you know, the good ways and the bad ways, etc. And there is the third hook up top for those of you who have the, uh, the option. So when it's rear facing, you know, locking into the back seat, etc. Outside of that, with toddler position, it does have cup holders. You can get rid of the cup holders. They do fold in. I'm not quite sure why they do that. Um, potentially, if you have three of these side by side, that could be the reason. Um, but if I, that's probably actually the reason. If you have a lot of kids and you have three of these side by side, um, you can choose which one you want to use and you can collapse them in. That's actually kind of genius now that I think about it. Um, the clip to loosen the belts is right in here under your thumb reach, so adult can easily get it, child cannot. And then you have three different positions for the main latch. Outside of that, this seat does rate really well for side impact. Um, it's just a really great seat overall, and it's nice and comfortable for your child. So that is the overview um, of this car seat. I think it's a great product based on a lot of feedback from different moms and dads across the internet. It's rated very high on Amazon and on Babies R Us, and uh, we're gonna give it a whirl. So there you go. So if you guys are interested in this car seat, I definitely think it's very high quality. The fabric and whatnot that your child will be touching is very soft and plush and very cushy, so you don't have to worry about um, them being uncomfortable. And again, with all the different positions and adjustability on the fly, you can change things very quickly and you don't have to hassle too much, which is, also worth the cost. These are a little bit pricier. Um, fortunately, we had some gift cards and it was on sale at Babies R Us, so we saved quite a bit of money. So I'd, I would recommend look around for those sales because you can get them for below retail at quite a few places right now. Um, but as always, guys, thanks for joining me for this quick review of the Graco Slim, what is it? Slim Fit 3-in-1 car seat, space saver design. And until next time, I'll see you on the road.